Hello, uh, welcome to this lecture series. Uh, I will be your host on this amazing journey, and I'm super excited to get into the weeds uh, and get down into the heart of what a neural network is actually doing with the data. Uh, so there's no prior knowledge in these videos, besides maybe the slightest introduction to calculus. And yet by the end of this video, I hope you'll both understand what a neural network is doing uh, from a very uh, over-the-top lens, as well as actually be able to code a neural network from scratch and get down into exactly line by line the code required to make a neural network work. Um, that being said, because there's no prior knowledge, this series is going to work a little differently than usual. So I'm going to start with a very broad introduction in this video, and then we're going to get down into the nitty gritty on a pretty specific topic, which is sigmoids. Uh, and I'm not doing this to scare you, but because these neural networks have so many moving parts, it's really important that we understand a topic fully before uh, we reference it in relation to the network. So that's something I'm going to be doing with sigmoids quite often. So it's really important that we get an understanding of what sigmoids actually are uh, mathematically before we do anything with them um, in terms uh, programmatically. So we're going to do that uh, in the next video, but for now we're going to introduce uh, a neural network from a very, very top-down view. So let's get started. So I have here a visual diagram of a neural network. Now we're going to get started right away with the neuron. Now the neuron is probably the most simple part of the diagram because it's just a number. Um, that's pretty much all it is. If you want to get a little more specific, it's an element and a vector, but we're going to get to that a little later. So right now you can just think of this as plain and simple, it's a number. Now layers, uh, we have four layers here. Uh, I'll focus on this input layer. Layers are right now collections of neurons. Uh, so this input layer has three neurons in it, and it's just a vector. Now, right here, this is a dense layer. In fact, every single one of these layers is a dense layer because every single neuron in this layer is connected to every other neuron in the next layer. And these connections are what are known as weights. So a weight is just a connection between one neuron and another. Now, the operation that I want you to think of when you see a weight is multiplication, but we'll get to that in a second. For now, a weight is just a connection between one neuron and another. But what impact does this connection have on what the next neuron is going to do? Now, the impact is the activation. So the activation, if you want to visualize it, it's a little harder to visualize, um, but the activation can just be thought of as the intersection between all of these weights that come from every single one of these neurons in the layer uh, and this neuron right here. So it's going to determine the value that the next neuron is going to have. That's the activation. And we're going to get a little more specific into one piece of the activation in the next video. Because activations are probably the most, um, they're probably the most mathematically oriented uh, components of a neural network. So we're going to get to that in the next video. Um, but yeah, those those all are, are the four main components that we're going to work on in this lecture series. Um, there might be a little bit outside of that, and there are a lot of subcomponents to each one of these components, maybe besides the neuron. There really isn't much more to cover with the neuron. It's just the number. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, I'm very excited to get started, um, and let's get started uh, on sigmoids right away.